am. How? Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. It's really fun to be here. I'm glad you brought me with you, Freddy. I wouldn't want to come without you, Lothar. You're my best buddy. This is turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. Gosh, Luther, I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad too. Is your cousin's ranch very big, Freddy? It's the biggest hogfish ranch in Briny Gulch. Wow! <laughs> one. Don't worry. I've never been to a real ranch before. I can't wait. Neither can I. When I get to be older than you, will I be bigger than you too? Uh, well, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Gee, Luther, you're about the best friend a fish could have. Ah, thanks. You're a great friend, Freddy. Thanks. I like the Wild West. All I need now is a good hat. Did you know that warm water floats on top of cold water, but ice floats on top of warm water? Huh. Hey, Freddy, how big is a 10-gallon hat anyway? I think it's about as big as you and me put together. But we'll find out when we get there. Gosh, Luther, I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad, too. There's Cousin Calico's ranch. We're going to be ranchers soon. Did you know that warm water floats on top of cold water, but ice floats on top of warm water? Huh. <laughs>
My buddy and me were swimming once, just a little ways upstream. When a plastic worm with a painted on eye came floating in between. It turned and spin while we both grinned like it was dinner time. But then I got this feeling that we was being fed a line. I hollered, Jake, that worm's a fake. And Jake said, what you mean? I said that I ain't never seen a worm with eyes so green. I told him I ain't never seen a worm with eyes so green. Carol Katie's cooking is nothing to go on about. I do wear a maple sneak underneath the table, but my dog fence just spins it right out. <laughs> Good boy. Town one day, fresh from Napoli Bay, wrote a mean looking fish with a name I can't say. His face, which was dark, had the eyes of a shark, and his bite I hear tell was much worse than his bark. That's because he was a trigger fish with jaws of steel. Now, I don't mind saying this made us all a little bit nervous, and we kept our distance from this worrisome stranger. So when he asked for one of us simple folk to swim up close and give him a good scratch, and give it, we all turned tail and swam for the hills. Seems the guy had a patch he couldn't quite scratch. He just wanted some help, and there wasn't a catch. As he swam off, I wish that we hadn't all ditched, but no one dared get near. The itchy trigger fish. Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Did you see the rustlers who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No, but you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. Did the rustlers leave any clues? Nope, I'm afraid not. Well, don't worry. We'll find a clue somewhere. Are you sure you didn't see anything when the rustlers came? Yep, but ask around town. Somebody there might have seen something. 
did the rustlers leave any clues? Nope, I'm afraid not. Well, don't worry. We'll find a clue somewhere. What do you think we should do now, Freddy? Let's look around for clues. Okay. Did the rustlers leave any clues? Nope, I'm afraid not. Well, don't worry. We'll find a clue somewhere. Always hungry. Oh, yeah. Leave any clues? Nope, I'm afraid not. Well, don't worry. We'll find a clue somewhere. Gee, <laughs> Luther, you're about the best friend a fish could have. Ah, thanks. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! I am humongous. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. I am humongous. Do you think I should dye my fins a different color? I think they're fine just the way they are. would take somebody oh. else's hogfish anyway. I don't know, Luther. <laughs> Here we are in Briny Gulch. 
This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. I wonder where the rustlers are hiding out. to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Tosso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Let us know if you hear anything that might help us, okay? Sure! He keeps it very neat in here. Yeah, kind of like my room. Um, that wasn't exactly what I was thinking, but okay. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Not right now. to be a pretty exciting vacation. What's that big thing? Hey. Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. Are you sure you won't tell us more about that big thing over there? It's nothing. Forget about it. You work out a lot? Why? Um, no. Making buckles is hard work. So I don't really need to work out. What are these plans? No, oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants! I'll bet they look nice. No, oh, they're very popular. <laughs> Mamma mia! Can you tell us more about that big thing over there? It's nothing, it's just something I'm building for myself. Maybe sometime we could have a custom belt buckle made. Sure, but right now we've got to do something about those rustlers. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. Have you seen my son's baby picture? Yes, he looks a lot like you. Except smaller. Did I show you my son's baby picture? Yes, he's very cute. Did I show you my son's baby picture? Yes, he's very cute. So all you sell here is belt buckles? Nothing else? That's why it's called Just Buckles. I also make custom belt buckles with initials on them. Are you sure you don't know anything about any rustlers? Maybe you've just noticed someone acting suspicious lately? No, no, I'm sure I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. 
Can you tell us more about that big thing over there? It's nothing, it's just something I'm building! For myself. Do you work out a lot? Why? Um... No. Making buckles is hard work. So I don't really need to work out. So all you sell here is belt buckles? Nothing else? That's why it's called Just Buckles. I also make custom belt buckles with initials on them. Maybe sometime we could have a custom belt buckle made. Sure, but right now we've got to do something about those rustlers. What do you think we should do now, Freddy? Let's look around for clues. Okay. After we solve this case, we'll learn to be real hogfish ranchers. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Construction. Back shortly. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Ruby. I 
always try to give others the benefit of the doubt. Does that include hogfish wrestlers? Well... Uh. Oh no! A combination lock. We should probably look around for some kind of clue to help us with these numbers. One. One. Zero. One. Two. It won't open! It's locked! Did you know that warm water floats on top of cold water, but ice floats on top of warm water. I'm Perry. <gasps> er, uh, apricot. <gasps> Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? I heard Miss Stella down at the soda loon talking about educating the masses. Is that suspicious? It's just not right. Yep. Are you sure you don't know anything about the wrestlers? Now, it seems to me that there used to be a club which had meetings in the soda loom from time to time. Might get there. Yup! How come you spit so much? Well, consarn it! It's the ink! It comes up like a barrel of old pickle droppings! Is that what I think it is? It's ink! Oh! It's a nice kind of purple color! <laughs> hey, y'all remember when Ape got his melon stuck in the bucket of ink? It's a nice kind of pale blue color. Dumbest thing you ever did in your whole life, I reckon. and then eat this note. One, one, three. I'll bet the rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. Anyway, we need it. The combination might open that lock we saw. Hi, I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. Well, hello. Eight fingered Phil, Dr. Piano Ology, at your service. We're looking for some hogfish rustlers. Have you seen anything suspicious? Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Mr. 
your fingers. Could I learn to play the piano like that? Why, sure you could. You know, you two remind me of two of my own 17 children. Really? What are their names? Four and eleven. When you have 17 kids, it's much easier that way. Cousin Calico has always been really nice to me. I'm happy we're able to help her by finding the hawkfish. I always try to give others the benefit of the doubt. Does that include hogfish rustlers? Well... Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loo. What can I do for you? We uh, wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. What can I do for you kids? One vanilla beet soda, please. You bet. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. One sweet potato soda, please. Coming right up. Hey, hey. We could help you clean up later if you like. That's okay. What brings you youngsters to Briny Gulch, anyhow? We're visiting my cousin, Calico Catfish. Cal Catfish is your cousin? Outstanding! How is she these days? Well, her hogfish have been rustled. That's terrible! I guess that would explain why you were asking about rustlers. We're going to catch them and free the hogfish. That's good, because rustling folks' hogfish just isn't right. One orange peel soda, please. One soda on the house. Ready? Here it comes. more about those suspicious characters that you saw. Well, there were two of them. One a little taller than the other. And they kept mentioning a third fella. Mr. Bag or something like that. <laughs> Thanks for letting us look around. We found a clue. That's great, honey. Now you go get those rustlers, you hear? Stella, do you know where the Rusty Rustler is? Why, sure. That's the old shipwreck out back of the Soda Loon. It's been there as long as I can remember. Thank you. Spicy mango soda, please. You bet. Ouch! I think there's a lot more spicy 
And that then there is mango. Yikes! I think so too. This is turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. You feel guppy? Well, do ya? Play the piano very well. Why, thank you, little lady. Do you play requests? Sure. What would you like to hear? Um, Pop Goes the Weasel? Coming right up. <laughs> How about playing Mary Had a Little Lamb? Good choice.
Gee, Luther, you're about the best friend a fish could have. Could you please play the owl and the pussycat? Coming right up. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. And then there was that old dogfish came and tried to drag him off. Remember that? <gasps> yup. I've been waiting a grouper's age on a new ball of yarn. How long do you think it's been since last we had a mail delivery? never was too good with numbers. It's a nice kind of pastel orange color. It's a nice kind of pastel orange color. Yep. way to find out the combination to open the lock. Wait a minute! Didn't I see a combination written somewhere? Hmm. This place kind of gives me the creeps. Don't worry, Luther. I'll protect you. Thanks. That does make me feel better. We'll have this case solved in no time. Just you hey. wait. We're the it's a combination. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. One, one, three. This is kind of tricky. One. One. Two. Three. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Peace. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. Your cousin Calico seems like a nice fish. I'm sorry her hogfish got rustled. Me too. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bandana. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep. We all wear the latest rustler gear. 
You can see from this picture in Russellmania magazine. Hmm. A blue ten-gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an S on it. And a bandana. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing a 10-gallon hat. You don't have a big ol' rustler-style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable bandana like I have. So I can't let you pass by. I'll bet if we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing a 10-gallon hat. You don't have a big ol' rustler-style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable bandana like I have. So I can't let you pass by. I'll bet if we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. Mr. Big! Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I'd do the job for free if you brought me the materials. Thank you, Nelson. That's very generous. Don't mention it. So, all we need to make a belt buckle is that piece of metal with the round top and some kind of letter, right? That's correct. Has anyone else been in here having belt buckles made? Nope. You two are the only ones who've been in here in quite a while. I'm thinking maybe I should advertise in the newspaper or something. Have you always been a buckle maker? No, I used to be a calendar model. I was June in the Tropical Tool and Die calendar three years running. Since then, I've had lots of jobs. What other jobs have you had? For a while, I was a product improvement specialist. My job was to put those little stickers on the boxes that say, New and Improved. So, all we need to make a belt buckle is that piece of metal with the round top and some kind of letter, right? You got it. I guess whoever was working here is done now. Hogfish are doing okay. Is your cousin going to teach us how to tie a lasso? Maybe. After those poor hogfish. I hope they're getting enough to eat. I always try to give others the benefit of the doubt. <sighs> Does that include hogfish rustlers? Well...
That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about five feet by five feet ought to do it. <laughs> it's a shame it's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone cut it round. Well, someone left the coffee stain on the plants. Yeah, yeah. These plants say they need a piece of wood five feet by five feet. These plants say they need a piece of wood five feet by five feet. You know, the coffee might not have spilled on the plants if someone hadn't filled my cup so full. Well, maybe someone should use a bigger cup. I might use a bigger cup if someone made better coffee. Huh. You know, we might have better coffee if someone chipped into the coffee fund more than, say, once a year. We might get raises if someone didn't cut round squares when we needed square squares. This isn't getting us anywhere. Let's just get some more wood and make another floor. Maybe we should take another coffee break first. <sighs> Maybe we could get them to change it from a square dance to a circle dance. You mean like the hokey pokey or something? Sure. I doubt it. People around here are stubborn. You're right. We better just fix the floor. Where are we gonna find a piece of wood five feet by five feet on such short notice? I don't know. It really is a shame. It's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone cut it round. Aw, oh, don't let's start that again. Okay. Where are we gonna find a piece of wood five feet by five feet on such short notice? Maybe we'll get lucky and someone will bring us one. Do you know when you'll be done using your screwdriver? Well, we, we have to finish this dance floor. We don't even have the right piece of wood yet. It could take days. I hope not. We'd really like to borrow your screwdriver sometime. Eh, yeah, sure. But not until after we get this dance floor finished. Are you finished using your screwdriver yet? No, not until we've made a proper square dance floor. Would you be willing to sell us your screwdriver? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. How big a piece of wood did they say they needed for this? Five feet by five feet. Oh, sure. I remember now. How big was that piece of wood supposed to be again? Five feet by five feet. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Not right now. <laughs> what size wood did they say they needed? Five feet by five feet. Oh, yeah. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Swim. We're helping my cousin Calico. Her hogfish were taken by some rustlers. Rustlers, eh? Well, I wouldn't know about that. I've known a few wrestlers in my day, but no rustlers to speak of. How do you get the name Sahara Swim? Why, I once crossed the Sahara Desert in nothing but a glass full of water. It took three weeks, but I made it. Wow! Is that true? Mostly. Are you from around here, Slim? Nope. Oh, just passing through on my way to Monte Carlo, where I plan to hit it big. Hit what big? Well, now, I guess I hadn't quite thought that part out yet. Say, have you kids ever been to Cucamonga? No. Well, I was traveling through there once when I was set upon by a pack of wild blubberfish. 
What do you mean, set upon? I mean, they were sitting right on me so as I couldn't get up. Heavy fish they are. What did you do? Well, I tricked them into having a breath-holding contest with me. They all took deep breaths, and when they were full of air, they just floated away. Is that true? Mostly. Everyone seems really friendly around here. Except the rustlers, of course. Do you think those construction workers will ever finish that dance floor? Not if they have to get the wood themselves. that warm water floats on top of cold water, but ice floats on top of warm water. Huh. Could you use a purple sea urchin? Oh, I'm pretty well fixed right now. Well, thanks for offering. Sure. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Harris Slim special super stew. My own recipe. Oh. Not quite ready. You know, young fella, you remind me of a crocodile I met once up around Winnemucca. I do? Yep. He was green, just like you. Swallowed me whole, he did. Wow! How did you escape? Well, I just sprinkled some paper on him, and he sneezed me right back out again. Say, maybe that's where I left my paper shaker. Did that really happen? Most of it. You've been lots of places, haven't you, Slim? Oh, yeah. Abilene, Bogalusa, Chattanooga, I've been there. Once I was even in two places at the same time. But that's kind of a long story. Tell us another story about your adventures. One time in Pocatello, my buddy Two Carboni and I got hold of a turtle that laid golden eggs. I didn't think they tasted any too good though, so I let Money keep the turtle. Really? Wow! Say. <laughs> Is that a bandana you've got there? Sure is. Very handy. Although sometimes I wish I had something sturdier to carry my gear in. What's in the stew? It's mostly kelp root and tumbleweed branches. Plus, a few secret ingredients. There's three cups of paprika. Isn't that kind of a lot? Not for super stew. What else is in the stew? Secret ingredients. Like what? If I told you, they wouldn't be very secret now, would they? Are you sure you won't tell me what else is in the stew? Can you keep a secret? Sure. Me too. Please tell us what's in the super stew. I'm afraid I can't do that. Because it's a secret? Because I don't know. I bought the stew from a fellow in Monterey last spring, and he said the ingredients were secret. You've been cooking the stew since last spring? Well, it has to simmer a while to mellow the flavors. Is the stew ready yet? <gasps> oh, almost. Is the stew ready yet? Oh, almost. You've certainly had an interesting life, haven't you, Slim? Once, near Amarillo, I wrestled a bullfish to the ground with one fin tied behind my back. I told him down was sideways and he fell right over. Not too bright, these bullfish. Wow! I'd feel a lot more westerny if I had a good hat to wear. We'll get you one. Don't worry. I think the 
it's pretty neat the way you can carry your stuff in a bandana. Oh, I reckon. But most days I just wish I had a suitcase like everybody else. Do you think you could let us have your bandana for a while? No, I reckon I'll need it until I can get a suitcase or something to carry my things in. Do you have any more good stories to tell? I met the Queen of the North Sea once at a rodeo down in Tonopa. She was in disguise, but I recognized her straight off. She nodded me on the condition that I not tell anybody. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Gee. You've certainly had an interesting life, haven't you, Slim? Well, let's see. I was once in a hollering contest against the legendary Paul Grunion. I beat him by swallowing a bullhorn. <laughs> really? Wow! Is the stew ready yet? Oh, almost. Do you have any more good stories to tell? They once put my picture in the newspaper by mistake, instead of a picture of that famous bank robber, Fast Willie Salmon. I had to swim all over the county and buy up every copy before anyone else could get one. Boy, oh boy, was I tired. Gee. Tell us another story about your adventures. And do you know, I invented the method they use for pouring soda underwater. Yep, I'd be a wealthy fish if that eel Cyrus Fizzlebig hadn't beaten me to the patent office. Oh well. Wow! Looks like your bandana's getting a little frayed around the edges. Yep. Eventually, I figure it'll wear out altogether. Someday, I'd like to get something a little sturdier to carry my gear around in. Do you have any more good stories to tell? I met the Queen of the North Sea once, at a rodeo down in Tonopa. She was in disguise, but I recognized her straight off. She nodded me on the condition that I not tell anybody. Uh-oh. Oh well. Really? Wow! I think that's pretty neat the way you can carry your stuff in a bandana. Oh, I reckon. But most days I just wish I had a suitcase like everybody else. It says, free wood. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! It says, free wood. Special secret. We should probably only take one piece, so I'll put this other one back. That one looks smoother than the other one. Uh. 
Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. You've certainly had an interesting life, haven't you, Slim? One time in Pocatello, my buddy Two Carboni and I got hold of a turtle that laid golden eggs. I didn't think they tasted ain't too good, though, so I let Money keep the turtle. Wow! I don't think I need that right now. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? I think that's too large. Can't you cut it to make it smaller? No, no, no. My nose is still tired from doing the round one. We need a piece that's five feet by five feet. I see. should probably only take one piece, so I'll put this other one back. How did you do that? That's my special secret. for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Uh, what is our next job anyway? We're supposed to be making a pyramid out of barnacle flats. Is a pyramid round? According to our blueprints, it is. Do you think we should uh, come to the square dance? I don't know. You're not exactly the best dancer. I'm a terrific dancer. It was just that one time that I slipped. I did wind up with a bruise. Yeah, yeah. You remember the monkfish java we had while we were working on the kelp seed silo? Yeah, excellent coffee. Say, didn't that building end up round too? I think you're right. You remember that great Brazilian sea nut coffee we had while we were building that stage last year? Oh yeah, that was some really good coffee. I made it, I think. Says you. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Maybe we should be moving along to our next job. Uh, let's just have a little more coffee first. Agreed. Remember that great Brazilian sea nut coffee we had while we were building that stage last year? Oh yeah, that was some really good coffee. I made it, I think. Says you. We'll have this case solved in no time. Just you wait. What? Wow! 
You're bigger than, well, just about everybody, I guess. You should see my brother. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Well, it's real nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. the whole town. <laughs> I doubt it, but I can fit a lot of folks in my mouth. That's how come I'm the cabaret. Cabaret? We put on plays and shows and things right inside my mouth. In your mouth? That sounds interesting. Could we take a look? Well, the cabaret's closed right now, but sure, take a look. This is neat! seems like a nice fish. I'm Gee, Luther. You're about the best friend a fish could have. Turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. I don't think I need that right now. Hey, look! It's a 10-gallon hat! Oh, boy! Oh. It's stuck in there pretty good. Yeah. Oh. I don't think we're going to be able to pull it out ourselves. We need some kind of a tool or something. It says cabaret. It says cabaret. What kind of act do you have when you're being the cabaret? All sorts. Singers, dancers. Jugglers? The clownfish are the most fun, I think. They throw pies at each other, and I get to eat the leftovers. Mmm! Want to hear more cabaret stories? Well, there's a fellow who's here sometimes who juggles five porcupine fish. It's a good act, but I once got one of the porcupine fish caught on the roof of my mouth. Ouch! You're sure you can't just pull that hat out of there? It's really stuck in there. We're going to need a tool or something. Oh, I wish I could get that hat out of my teeth. It's stuck in there pretty good. That hat stuck in my teeth is making me nuts. At least it's a nice hat. I think I have something caught in my teeth. Try some dental floss. But I don't... Oh, wait. It was just my tongue again. <laughs> Gosh, Luther. I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad, too. You're sure you can't just pull that hat out of there? It's really stuck in there. We're going to need a tool or something. Would you tell us some more about the cabaret? Ocean dance is coming next fall. I'm really excited. That hat stuck in my teeth is making me nuts. At least it's a nice hat. Can we go inside your mouth some more? All right. I wouldn't want to hurt her. We need some dental floss or something like that. This 
is turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. Hey, that sail is keeping the water from coming down here. Hey, that sail is keeping the water from coming down here. Hey, that sail is keeping the water from coming down here. I think finagle is the funniest word I've ever heard. What does it mean? I don't know. I think it might be something to eat. to get over there. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. missing from this crank. Cousin Calico has always been really nice to me. I'm happy we're able to help her by finding the hawkfish. The guppies at school will flip when I tell them about us catching rustlers in a real wild west town. It looks like there should be something attached to this crank to turn it with. This crank must be connected to something. I don't think I need that right now. Whoever those rustlers are, they won't get away with rustling my cousin's hogfish. Mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Are you E. Tippet? That's what it says on the mailbox, doesn't it? Now leave me be. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no. 
it's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Noticing that your mailbox door is a little bit broken. Don't I know it. It's very hard to hermit properly with a door that won't close all the way. Do you think we could have it? No, at least not before the mail comes. Gosh, Luther. I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad too. crab, you see. We scare easily. Oh, well, well, try not to startle you. Thank you. Oh, no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm a little afraid of the color green. Oh. Oh no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. After we solve this case, We'll learn to be real hogfish ranchers. Yay! Your cousin Calico seems like a nice fish. I'm sorry her hogfish got rustled. Me too. When I get to be older than you, will I be bigger than you too? Uh, well, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. to give others the benefit of the doubt. Does that include hogfish wrestlers? Well... Hi, 
I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, <laughs> Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. <laughs> Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. How long has it been since your wagon broke down? Little over two years. It looks like you've gone about five feet since then. Yep, making pretty good time, pretty good time. Do you just have that one delivery to make? Yep, after this one it should be time for me to retire. Would it help if we gave you a push? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Isn't there any way you could go faster? If my wagon worked, I could. Sometimes if I think speedy thoughts, it helps. Right now I'm imagining I'm a train. It's addressed to E. Tippett. We could deliver your package for you if you like. Oh no, that's against the rules. I have to deliver it myself. Are you sure we can't take your package for you? Yep, regulations. But I'll only be a few more years. Don't you worry about it. Are you positive we can't take your package for you? I'll get there eventually. Sure wish my wagon weren't broken, though. I'd go a lot faster. Are you still thinking speedy thoughts? I'm imagining I'm a train. I hope you're still thinking speedy thoughts. I'm imagining I'm a train. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. There should be a nut in the middle of the wheel to hold it onto the wagon. Is this your seahorse? Yep, his name's Elmer. Hi, Elmer! <laughs> Keep thinking those speedy thoughts. I'm imagining I'm a train. Freddy, do you think we could go for a seahorse back ride on Elmer? Elmer's not ours, and besides, he's working right now, Luther. He doesn't look like he's working too hard to me. Well, he's been stuck there quite a while without much to do. <laughs> Cousin Calico has always been really nice to me. I'm happy we're able to help her by finding the hawkfish. It's missing a piece. I don't think the screwdriver will help. Isn't this a three-day hasty mail package? Yeah, I'd have made it if my wagon hadn't broken down. Fortunately, the three days isn't guaranteed. Elmer looks a little bored. Well, he's been stuck there quite a while without much to do. Freddy, do you think we could go for a seahorse back ride on Elmer? Elmer's not ours, and besides, he's working right now, Luther. He doesn't look like he's working too hard to me. Well, he's been stuck there quite a while without much to do. <laughs> Are you sure we can't take your package for you? Yep, regulations. But I'll only be a few more years. Don't you worry about it. 
Are you ready to start? Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. Whoa, Nelly! Whoa! Ay! 
round and purple and pokey. Hey, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. Wagon? Can we go for a ride in it? Well, it's up to the owner, but I don't see why not. Something. You! I think I heard something. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. I'm Sheriff Shrimp, the local lawman. I'd shake your fins, but as you can see, I'm a little tied up right now. Woohoo-wee! Sure is good not to be spinning around like tumble kelp in a hurricane. It looked like fun. Well, I get a little dizzy. Say, speaking of being tied up, and I think we were, do you think you could see your way clear to untying me at some point? Sure, we can do that. It would be our pleasure. Thank you. How did you get tied up like that, Sheriff? There was a whole mess of them. At least a hundred, I'd say. They got the drop on me. I see. Who was it exactly who tied you up? It was the Five Finger Gang. They may be small, but there's a lot of them. Say, you gonna untie me soon? Sure. 
Are there really a hundred fish in the Five Finger Gang? Well, they aren't fish, and maybe there's not quite a hundred, but I'm kind of ticklish. Oh, I see. I normally don't mind jawing all day, but right now I think I'd rather you just untied me. Okay. What say you young fish untie me so that I can get back to the lawman business? Okay. How about doing me a little favor and untying this rope that's holding me on here? Okay, sure. It really would be nice if you'd untie me now. I'm starting to itch. Okay, sure. I normally don't mind jawing all day, but right now I think I'd rather you just untied me. Okay, sure. Watch this, Freddy. I learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts. <laughs> Um... Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your debt. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some wrestlers who... But I must be off. There's law breaking afoot somewhere. I can smell it. But... You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh! I'm sorry, Luther. Wow! That's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. This could come in handy. Do you think I should dye my fins a different color? I think they're fine just the way they are. Mr. Tippet! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little afraid of my name, too. Tippet? <laughs> yes? Maybe you should change it, then. To what? Um, Smith? <laughs> oh, no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Remember that great Brazilian sea nut coffee we had while we were building that stage last year? Oh yeah, that was some really good coffee. I made it, I think. Says you. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company third largest distributor of bubblegum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great! Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Gee, Luther, you're about the best friend a fish could have. Ah, thanks. Wheel nuts! Get your <laughs> wheel nuts here! Those are pick. Fit locking wheel nuts, the finest wheel nuts ever made. 
They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Fickle fit nuts are all currently available at one low price. Just three purple sea urchins per nut. Oh. Pick a nut, nut, miss, nut, get out, out, yeah, get ya. Did you used to work at a carnival? And a fine job it was. But I came out west to, uh, to explore new opportunities. Oh. Wheel nuts are a growth industry. I see. Wheel nuts! Get your wheel nuts here. Do you know anything about any rustlers in the area? Rustlers? <clears throat> no, I wouldn't know anything about that. Yes, sir, we've got it all. Bubblegum, wheel nuts, wheel nuts and bubblegum. Do you sell anything besides wheel nuts and bubblegum? No, that's all. Say, you two aren't federal marshals, are you? Are you sure you don't know anything about any rustlers? Not a thing. Yes, sir, we've got it all. Bubblegum, wheel nuts, wheel nuts and bubblegum. We're having a special today on Super Rubber Bubble Bubblegum. Just two purple sea urchins per pack. <laughs> Everyone seems really friendly around here, except the rustlers, of course. I like the Wild West. All I need now is a good hat. I may not have mentioned that pickle fit nuts are cast from a revolutionary aluminum alloy, which allows them to resist the kind of heat deformation often associated with near light speeds. It's that kind of attention to detail that makes pickle fit the best nut for your wheel. And perhaps you've noticed our ridiculously low price today. Only three purple sea urchins. Fickle fit locking wheel nuts are hazard tested and have been found to hold wheels on even at speeds approaching the sound barrier. And what a price! Only three purple sea urchins. You won't find a better deal. Do you sell anything besides wheel nuts and bubble gum? No, that's all. Say. You two aren't federal marshals, are you? By the way, I should mention that the Biloxi Premium name is a guarantee of quality. These previously owned wheel nuts have all passed a rigorous 15-point inspection, so you can be sure they'll hold your wheel onto the axle even under the most extreme weather conditions. And there's still only three purple sea urchins per nut. Our Fickle Fit wheel nuts are only three purple sea urchins each. You won't find a lower price this side of the Marianas Trench. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans, and you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fix Fickle Fit Wheel Nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous Fickle Fit Wheel Nut is all yours. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course! You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. We here at Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut believe that customer service is our primary business. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you! 
Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another wheel nut. Wheel nuts! Get your wheel nuts here! Good evening, sir. May I interest you in? You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry, I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? Well, all I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. Did you know that warm water floats on top of cold water, but ice floats on top of warm water? Sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of Albert Clifton. Wanted wrong nose pebble field by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of lasso swiping. Wanted black tooth loop. By the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of tumbleweed scaring. Wanted crazy I Jack by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of starfish shaking. Wanted long tongue salad. By the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of coral tickling. Wanted crooked Finn McFluke by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of kelp branding. Wanted slack tooth roof. By the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of seahorse biting. Wanted wrong nose clipper by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of cactus snatching. Wanted. Long Hat Alice by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Stagecoach Hugging. Wanted Black Eye Zelda by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Urchin Snatching. If we fix that broken wagon, can we go for a ride in it? That's up to the owner, but I don't see why not. Yay!
Gee, Luther, you're about the best friend a fish could have. Ah, thanks. <laughs> about her hogfish. We'll find them. <coughs> this buoy looks a little tired. It's barely floating. How come the buoy is only floating a little bit? It looks kind of deflated. Oh. Hey, Freddy, what does deflated mean? It means there isn't very much air in it. That's a really heavy anchor. I'll bet that anchor is almost as heavy as my Uncle Blubber. And he's a whale! I'll bet that anchor is almost as heavy as my Uncle Blubber. And he's a whale! This buoy would work a lot better if we could somehow pump more air into it. It's kind of a sad-looking little buoy, isn't it? It just needs a little air. How can we put more air into the buoy? We need to use some kind of a pump. The word buoy sounds funny when you say it. Buoy! Buoy! Hey! It's kind of a sad-looking little buoy, isn't it? It just needs a little air. Look, it's a suitcase. Phew! It's no use. It won't budge. That's a really heavy anchor. Phew! I don't think we're going to be able to move this as long as there's a big heavy anchor on top of it. I don't think I need that right now. Fish Luther, they can sting you. Okay. They look kind of like rain shades, don't they? Yes, but they can sting you, so be careful. Remember to be careful of the jellyfish, Luther. I will. Ouch! There must be a way to get by. Ouch! I know we can do this. That's not gonna do me any good. I don't think I need that right now. We made it! I knew we could do it! Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! Hmm? Didn't we see something a while ago that needed a handle? What was it? I can't remember. Well, we'll take it with us.
Is your cousin going to teach us how to tie a lasso? Maybe. After we rescue the hogfish. Cool. <laughs> Wheel nuts here. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. scares you the most? Mostly, I'm afraid the mail's never going to get here. I wonder what could be keeping the mailman. Oh no! It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. That's not gonna do me any good. <laughs> any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. What's he got against glue? this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Tippet? Go away. I'm busy. What's there to do inside a mailbox? I'm hermiting. Oh. Mr. Tippet? Leave me alone. I'm busy hermiting. All right. Is hermiting hard work? Very. And you have to be alone to do it. Hello, Mr. Tippet. Whatever you're selling, I don't want any. Uh, Mr. Tippet? I gave at the office. Is hermiting anything like knitting? No. Now go away. Hello, Mr. Tippet. Whatever you're selling, I don't want any. Would you tell us some more about the cabaret? Sometimes Gil Barker gets up on stage and tells traveling salesman jokes. And sometimes they're even funny, but not usually. Let's have another look at those teeth of yours. All right. to me, I just use dental floss. I wonder what whales do. Come on, Luther. Let's try this. How do 
people see out of these things? Oh, wait. There's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? How's our wrestler disguise so far? Well, we've got a good hat. We've got to get some more stuff together for our wrestler costume. I like the hat, though. Those poor hogfish. I hope they're getting enough to eat. All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. We've got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. Want to hear more cabaret stories? Ocean dance is coming next fall. I'm really excited. Did you know that warm water floats on top of cold water, but ice floats on top of warm water? Huh. I think these wrestler outfits look nice. We've got a hat just like that. Our hat is a different color, though. We still need the belt buckle and the bandana. I think that's pretty neat the way you can carry your stuff in a bandana. Oh, I reckon. But most days, I just wish I had a suitcase like everybody else. <gasps> yeah. What other jobs have you had? I worked as a winder for a company that made thread. Now that I think about it, making buckles is a pretty good occupation. It says, just buckle. Here, can you make us a belt buckle out of this? Sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. I don't think I need that right now. That's not gonna do me any good. Can you tell me again what pieces you need to make a belt buckle? Sure, you've already given me a piece for the back, so all I need is a letter to put on it. Did you try singing this little piggy? Like I said? Well, try it. Listen, I gotta go. Customers. Do you have the music for Little Bo Peep? Coming right up. It's a 10-gallon hat. That's part of my disguise. I don't need to wear it until I try to get into the wrestler's hideout. Concern that ink! 
comes up like there was a feather going down. we could get over there. I bet there's all kinds of neat stuff in there. If we can just get that hill move, the lagoon will fill with water. on that tail. we saw sure might come in handy. It was a nice roomy one. After we solve this case, we'll learn to be real hogfish ranchers. Kind of hot. It feels like my tongue's on fire. Is it? No, it looks okay. to help that poor whale get that cat out of her teeth. Yeah, I hate it when I get stuff caught in my teeth, especially cat. It's Pepper. Really? Lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it though.
This is turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin. Do you think we can get that suitcase? The one with the anchor on top of it? Sure. We just have to figure out how to move the anchor. M. S. This letter might come in handy. G. G. This letter might come in handy. That's got it. Everyone seems really friendly around here, except the rustlers, of course. I'm going to try a little more lemongrass. I think I'd rather just have lemonade myself. Mmm, delicious!
We'd like to buy your pack of bubblegum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Did you used to work at a carnival? And a fine job it was. But I came out west to... Ah, uh, to explore new opportunities. Oh. Wheel nuts are a growth industry. I see. The word buoy sounds funny when you say it. Buoy. Buoy. Hey, hey. Hey, I've got an idea. <coughs> Be free, little buoy. Is it coming back down? I don't think so, Luther. Oh, bye-bye, buoy. Look, Luther. This suitcase had a three an anchor on top of it, and it's not even scratched. Wow! Gosh, Luther, I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad too. looks a lot sturdier than that bandana. more good stories to tell? Well, let's see. I was once in a hollering contest against the legendary Paul Grunion. I beat him by swallowing a bullhorn. <laughs> wow! Is the stool ready yet? <gasps> oh! Almost. I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. Uh, 
what is our next job anyway? We're supposed to be making a pyramid out of Barnacle Flats. Is a pyramid round? According to our blueprints, it is. I think I'll try some of that gum we bought. Ew, I'm not sure this is even gum. It tastes like rubber. Hey, Freddy, can I have a piece of that gum? Sure. Mmm, this is really chewy. Mm. I think I... Mm -mm. Oops, huh, I swallowed it. I think I have something caught in my teeth. Try some dental floss. But I don't... Oh, wait. It was just my tongue again. <laughs> Freddy, maybe you should try another piece of gum. Hmm, uh, I guess so. I think this might be the worst gum I ever tasted. Freddy, can I have another piece of that gum? Sure. Mmm, I like the rubbery flavor. And it's so chewy. I'm going to try to blow a bubble. Oops, I swallowed it again. Would you like some gum? Is it coffee flavored? No. No, thanks. Would you like some gum? Is it coffee flavored? No. No, thanks. That's part of my disguise. It's gum. I don't need to wear it until I try to get into the wrestler's hideout. Freddy, maybe you should try another piece of gum. Hmm, uh, I guess so. This really isn't very good tasting gum. Freddy, can I have another piece of gum? Are you going to chew it or just swallow it? Very funny. Oops. Freddy, can I have some more gum? Yes. Hmm. Okay, my jaws are tired. Ooh. Did you just swallow your gum again? It's not bad once you get used to it. I think I'll try that gum again. <sighs> this really isn't very good tasting gum. gum? Yes. Mmm. Okay, my jaws are tired. Ooh. Mm. Tell us some more jobs you've had. I worked at a home for retired barnacles, gluing them to rocks when they couldn't quite stick themselves on. And sometimes we'd put them on boats so they could travel. Can you tell me again what pieces you need to make a belt buckle? Sure! You've already given me a piece for the back, so all I need is a letter to put on it. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back! My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Thank you! Yeah, thank you! 
Thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. Would you like some gum? Oh, gum! Good exercise for the jaw muscles. Oh, Wiggly's Plankton Mint is my favorite kind. We've got Super Rubber Bubble. Oh, well, thanks anyway. I think I'll just grit my teeth instead. Okay. That's part of my disguise. I don't need to wear it until I try to get into the wrestler's hideout. That looks like a barbell. Yes, well, it's just something I made. It's not for sale. <laughs> Mamma mia. It's gone. I think these wrestler outfits look nice. We've got all of those things. Our hat is a different color, though. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing a 10-gallon hat. You don't have a big old rustler-style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable bandana like I have. So I can't let you pass by. I'll bet if we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a rustler? Oh! Yes! That's part of my disguise. This should make my disguise even better. It does! Okay, do you think I look enough like a rustler? You're very rustly. Whoever those rustlers are, they won't get away with rustling my mm. cousin's hogfish. Yeah! Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. Your hat's all wrong. That's last year's color. So I can't let you pass by. Luther, we've got to get this rustler disguise right or we'll never get past that guard. I can put these on again later. Would any of you like a piece of gum? What flavor you got? The label says licorice, but it actually tastes more like rubber. Ew! I, I can't abide licorice. I think we'll pass, but thank you for offering. Sure. Tastes like... well, it tastes like ink. looks nicer now.
Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing a 10-gallon hat. You don't have a big old rustler-style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable bandana like I have. So I can't let you pass by. I'll bet if we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. Come on, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. And howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh. We did it. We're inside. Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? <laughs> It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. After we solve this case, we'll learn to be real hogfish ranchers. Yay! Cousin Calico has always been really nice to me. I'm happy we're able to help her by finding the hogfish. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Not right now. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew, these are heavy. There, that does it. That door is still locked. You're right, Luther. There's got to be some other way out of this room. Are the missing hog 
dogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. No, don't! That's where the rustlers went. And they locked the door, too. when we pull them. If we can find something to give them a good solid yank, I think they'll come out. Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. What's with all the ice? One of the rustlers brought it in here. I have no idea why. What's this? It looks like a telegram. Stop worrying, stop. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. You know who. Hmm. Very interesting. Ice freezes at 32 degrees barrel height. I learned that in school. Ahem. <laughs> 32 degrees Fahrenheit, Luther. I think hogfish freeze at about the same temperature. Brrr. Is your cousin going to teach us how to tie a lasso? Maybe. After Aren't you guys cold? Yes. You say you don't know why the rustlers brought this ice? No. Some really little guy brought them a note. That might have something to do with it. By the way, I'm Freddy and this is Luther. My name's Grunter. I'm glad you're going to rescue us. It's really crowded in here. We've been working on the window bars a little bit, but we couldn't manage to break them. Freddy and I will find you a way out of here. Great. I hope we get out of here soon. I've been craving cherry kelp jubilee, and these rustlers are terrible cooks. Don't worry. We'll have you out of here in no time. Maybe we should try to catch the rustlers. Let's try to free the hogfish first. Good idea. It's still locked. I don't think it's a very good idea to go back there anyway. That's where the rustlers went, remember? Oh, yeah. Ice freezes at 32 degrees barrel height. I learned that in school. Ahem. <laughs> 32 degrees Fahrenheit, Luther. I think hogfish freeze at about the same temperature. Brrr. I really miss calico seaweed crepes. They were so delicate. They'd fall apart if you breathed on them funny. Is that good? They're delicious. Uh, 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 These bars are definitely loose. We just need to find a way to pull them really hard. And then the hogfish can get out? Exactly. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. Maybe we can find a way to yank those bars out. Maybe I could use this chain to yank those bars out. I wonder how we're going to get those bars off. Yeah. this chain to yank those bars out. This is turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. I 
wonder what this does. Wow! That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. Why is the anchor on this chain? So the anchor stays attached to the boat when you drop it. Do you think you could pull up the anchor with the chain? No, I think you'd get pulled right off the boat. The anchor's awfully heavy. Oh, how heavy did you say the anchor was? Six tons. Prepare to drop anchor! Guppies at school will flip when I tell them about us catching rustlers in a real world. behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Find some other way to move it. Uh, uh, uh. This rudder is really hard to move. What is a rudder anyway? It's the part of the ship that moves when you turn the steering wheel. way to move it. We've got to help that poor whale get that hat out of her teeth. Yeah, I hate it when I get stuff caught in my teeth, especially uh, hat. Uh, uh. But Mr. Big will be here soon. We'd better free the hogfish as quick as we can. Right. <laughs> Need a need a need a 
Hey, hey. Nina, Nina, Nina. Your cousin Calico seems like a nice fish. Nina, Nina, I'm Nina, sorry Nina. her hogfish got rustled. Me too. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. Gosh, Luther, I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad too. to the chain, it'll reach those bars. There's no slack in the chain now that the anchor is down. I'm gonna raise the anchor so I can drop it again. Is a nice dirty chain. <laughs> there, that hooks on pretty well. those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, 
I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <laughs> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Is it Sheriff Shrimp? As the sheriff, he'd probably understand the criminal mind better than anyone. That's true, I do. But I'm no rustler. Yes, it's not the sheriff. Well, who is it then? I think Gil Barker is Mr. Big. Me? Yes. We overheard you talking to a shark about a really big deal you had going on. Might that deal have had something to do with a certain herd of hogfish? Well, no, actually. The deal I was working on was selling 300 packs of Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum to the Squid family here. They reserved my entire stock, except for one licorice-flavored pack. We love the stuff. It kills the taste of the ink. Yeah, it's great. Yep. Oh, so that means Gil Barker isn't Mr. Big? No, he isn't. But that was good thinking to remember the shark. Thanks! Well, if it's not Gil Barker, then which one of us is it? I suspect Mr. Fingers! Whoa! No way, baby! I don't know rustling. Just piano playing. After we found the note to the rustler saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note in a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B-flat, but really, it's an A-flat. Big difference. Well, we also heard you talking about singing This Little Piggy. What was that about? My wife was trying to get our kids to go to sleep. We have 17, you know. Land sakes. So you're not Mr. Big? Nope. Afraid not. That phone call did sound suspicious, but Phil isn't the one we're looking for. Who is it then? Luther and I happened to be passing by when we saw Sahara Slim sending a telegram. The telegram said, keep them on ice. And then when we got here, there were big blocks of ice in with the hogfish. Well, that could be a coincidence. Except we also found the telegram. No, oh, it's true. It's my telegram. I'm Mr. Big. <laughs> I still don't understand why you wanted us to put ice in there. Well, I didn't mean that literally. It's just an expression. It means to keep them locked up. Now he tells us. Yeah. I'm sorry, I meant no harm. I'm just so tired of traveling around all the time. And I thought maybe if I had some hogfish, I might be able to make a go of it as a rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> it's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats! Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh boy! Now come.
Come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. Oh, Stubal was a racehorse, but she was mine. Do you really want to restart the game? Ma'am? 
Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum.